Is it really an error that we can't put a finger of the emotion expression on Mona Lisa? Definitely not. It would shrink her just to an evident representation without depth. Buongiorno and welcome to the Toscani. Today we will talk about tying the world together. Leonardo da Vinci's paintings are like windows. It's like you see just a part of something that is much bigger. Looking perhaps at St. John the Baptist in the Louvre gives you really the feeling that he's pointing and was able to see something that never could fit in the frame. Even now, with all our technologies like multimedia, we are not able to represent it like some of his paintings did. It is like they would embrace the opposite and the paradox on and bringing everything together. They are showing us a world in which the duality could be reunited in the art. Known and unknown, light and shadow, ugly and beauty are necessary to make his works complete. His works are reminding me of the yin-yang symbol, in which you can always find the essence of the one thing in his opposite. The white part of the symbol has its white heart in the black half. They could not exist without each other and you find the essence at the core of the opposite side. Light is only possible through shadow. There is always a connection and a union between what uh, we would call today duality. Leonardo da Vinci once said, realize that everything is connecting to everything else. This is really a great uh, quote. His work and perhaps his life are unifying the inner world and the aspects of the surrounding by embracing and implementing the opposites. His art is the cataclysm of the, the diversity of our work. What is making his art perhaps so interesting it is the pattern and the interweaving that we suspect beneath the obvious things that are connect connecting everything to a whole picture. He once said, a good painter has two chief objects to paint, the man that he is painting and the intention of the man's soul. It is really mastery how he can connect the visible, like the excellence of his painting techniques, with the not visible, like the emotion of the painted person is expressed just through almost unseen detail. In his work, every essential part is interweaved through really strategic thinking that gives his art so much depth. By using different perspectives, different approaches, he is giving us, the viewer, a challenge. And this is making his art so great and is united in his masterpieces. Challenges and errors in his work often are turning out to be important factors that are giving his work completion. Is it really an error that we can't put a finger of the emotion expression on Mona Lisa? Definitely not. It would shrink her just to an evident representation without depth. It is a union of all things that are speaking through his work, but not in a forced, obvious way, but in an open, detached and passionate, curious way that has driven the artist and now us as an onlooker to enjoy and to tie everything together. Mm -hmm.